Hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Centre here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time, we are getting it all in the classics. Doom and Doom 2. Uh, this, of course, was developed by Night Dive Studios, Machine Games and ID Software, published by Bethesda Softworks, and is usually available for £7.99 slash $9.99, but, of course, has been included with Game Pass. Now, if you can... Honestly, Mick Gordon is an absolute legend of the game. Andrew Hulschult is, ah, oh, he is right up there as well with legendary status. Remixes are so bloody good in this game. Uh, but of course, it's up to you. Um, anyway, what you get with Doom and Doom 2, of course, it's on Game Pass. We get Doom, Doom 2, TNT Evolution, the Plutonia Experiment, Master Levels for Doom 2, No Rest for the Living, Sigil, and a new episode, uh, which was created in collaboration by ID Software, Night Dive, and Machine Games, which is called Legacy of Rust, which has new enemies in it. Um, now, what we are going to be doing with this one, we are going to be cheating our way through. So basically, what you can do then is, uh, if you've got a keyboard, which hopefully you have, you can just plug it straight into your Xbox, and you can type in the command without having to press a console command key, uh, which is all good. But you will see which ones you just need to press at the top of the screen in just a moment. Uh, but if, uh, the game is generally easy enough if, you, if you're not doing it without cheats, uh, so that's fine. Um, but obviously if you are, then you can get this done in around an hour, so let's do it, and let's start off with Doom Bags. The old Doom Boom Bags. So, let's click Single Player, let's click Level Select, and we can just choose the first one, Knee Deep in the Dead, and Episode 1, Mission 1, Hangar. Make sure to choose the difficulty to Ultra Violence, and then start the game. Now, as you'll be able to see then, what we can do, I'll tell you which codes to put in in each one. So what you're going to do for this one is put in God Mode, which is IDDQD. And then type in I-D-B-E-H-O-L-D-S, which is I'd be holds. So we're going to be trying to get a few achievements on this one first. So make sure to kill all the enemies with uh, your fist and make sure to grab all the items, kill everyone and get all the secrets in this level. So there's the first two then, two what look like blue bottles. So make sure to pick those ones up. And again, we're going to cross over and there's going to be a couple of uh, two armors. Make sure to pick those up as well. Let's head into this room where you can see three items over here plus a broski. So give him the old punch of life. Again, don't use the shotgun because we need to kill 25 enemies with the fist as well. But it doesn't matter if you do. We can get that a bit later on, which I end up doing. So there's three items on each side there. Two blue bottles and some armor. So health and armor. Head up, and usually you will, will always get the first achievement there, not so friendly fire. In terms of items, make sure to pick up the ammo as well. They do count as the items, so really, really make sure to pick those up. And then grab the uh, ammo and the green armor vest right there. So once you're done with that area and you've got all the items, head through into this next room. There's going to be another couple of guys which are going to smash here. Boosh and boosh. And there's four, uh, four pieces of armor in there, so make sure to grab that. Um, if you do end up getting too much ammo uh, and you can't pick any ammo items up, make sure to use the shotgun just to blast some ammo out of the way so you can pick that ammo up. Very easy to miss that one. Um, so there we go. So make sure to pick up that ammo. There was a armor behind us, which you should have grabbed, and one just to the side of this uh, middle building thing right here. Again, make sure you've had a little snout around and a little scoochie woochie around. Making sure that you've got everything. If you have, crack on, my friends. There's another two blue bottles here. And again, the potential for some ammo. Uh, beat the crap out of and kill every Marine. Uh, because what I should have said earlier as well is that there is an achievement for killing every... Uh, one type. Uh, killing every type of enemy once. Um, and again, a lot you will just get by um, sort of sifting through the game. Um, but... So just need to make sure to kill everything that you can. Uh, so grab all the ammo, ammo off the enemies if you can. As you could see there, um, I didn't pick that one up. Or this one right here just by the door. So again, make sure to just use your shotgun. Blast out all... Mm, that's a pistol. Let's try again. There we go. So if you can't pick any ammo up, just smash through all of the ammo. I know it takes a little bit longer to do, but it's what we need for the achievement. Now head through this door, you can press the A button to interact with it. That is going to get us our second achievement for entering the secret room. An important looking door. So the one that was uh, a slightly different color to the rest. 
that's what you need to do then. Um, don't collect the blue armor jacket just yet. We will be grabbing that very last. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to collect any more armor. Uh, therefore, uh, you won't be able to get the achievement. The health boxes don't matter, so they don't count towards the items, so no worries. So head back, and what we need to do now is go to the through to the right-hand side door, because what, what those enemies are, are on, uh, that platform will come down. So you can nip through. You can punch these guys up. Again, remember to try and punch the enemies because you need 25 kills in a single level with your fist. So then you can smash these two down and then the platform on the right will have gone down. There's another enemy in here, so shoot him. And again, make sure to pick up all the items, including the ammo of El Broskin Hosken. Again, I know it's a little bit of a pain in the old buttonholes, but, you know, the things we do for achievements. And as I have always said... We've done a lot worse, haven't we? <laughs> right, there's another secret, which can be a little bit of a uh, potential tricky pain. You need to come back to this room and then immediately sprint to the left. And then you should hopefully manage to get uh, to where the other secret, uh, where we found the other secret, that uh, it's like a little elevator that comes down there. So apologies, that was a bit quick there, but you do have to be quite quick with that one. If not, just keep going back to the center of the room. And then keep trying to get it. But once you've got it, we can now head through here. Again, make sure to kill any enemies in this level with your fist. To get the 25 kills. Um, because you should get the achievement now for... There it is. Or oh, we should have got it for... Um, 20 kills using the Berserk power-up. Which was what the I'd Behold. Uh, or I'd Be Holds. Or I'd Be Hands. Um, uh, cheat was. That's what I'm trying to think of there. So make sure you've grabbed every item in this room. Again, the health boxes don't matter. Just make sure you picked up all ammo, all armor, and everything. And again, now we can go back, head back, and grab the... Oh, in fact, no, don't grab the armor just yet. i done this wrong. So I've grabbed the armor here, but there's another four armor, which I'm not sure if you can grab. I'm pretty sure you can, actually. I don't think it makes too much of a difference. Um, but I ended up grabbing that armor in this exit room. Bam. There are four bits of armor in here. You can still pick them up, actually. So make sure to grab those two armors, which are... There's four in the room. Make sure to grab those two, uh, or all the four in the room, and then that should get us four achievements. And that's for finishing level with 100% items picked up. Um, then it should be for completing any monster fill level with 100% kills, items, and secrets. Uh, kill all monsters in any monster fill level on hurt me plenty or higher. Complete any monster fill level with 100% kills without getting hurt on ultra violence. And finish a level with 100% items picked up as well. So you should have got all that. Um, now, you see the 94% first. That's because the first time I went through it, I um, accidentally forgot to pick up those last two pieces of armor in the... Exit room, which was an absolute stupidity. Now, I am uh, went basically back on the same level, just showing you the groovy achievement for getting three kills with the multi shawl. Uh, multi kill with a shotgun. You just need to make sure that two people are lined up. You'll probably more than likely get this as you uh, play through the game anyway. But you just need to make sure that two enemies are lined up and you basically kill two enemies in one with the shotgun. Right, on to the next level. Again, make sure that you've put your IDDQD uh, God Mode on. And you're going to put IDKFA as well for uh, for all ammos. Uh, what we're going to do first, we're going to kill an enemy just by this door. Uh, make sure that he is as close to the door as he possibly can. Because we need to crush his corpse under the door. So lure him out, give him the shot of life. Make sure the door shuts. And that is wham, bam, thank you, Nan. Because your nan has just sorted you out with the doormat achievement. So that is bang toy, my. Well done, well done. Right. What we're going to do now is we are going to get the BFG, which is the final weapon, which is this one. Now, it does say kill a single enemy with it, but um, every time I tested it out, I killed even two or three enemies with it, and it seemed to have worked. So. That's the BFG, which is basically weapon 7, once you have put in the IDKFA code. Then just go to your chain gun, which is, I believe, weapon 4, and continuously fire then until this achievement unlocks here. You basically need to do this consecutively for 200 um, ammo, so just keep your, keep your finger on the trigger, my bruh. 
and cha cha. And the plasmas are cracker too. Right, so whew, there we go. <laughs> We're smashing through this nicey and slicey now, aren't we? So we can press start, end game. We're gonna go, now going to go to single player, um, and we're going to go to level. Uh, episode 1, Mission 3, which is Toxic Refinery. Put it on Nightmare Mode, because we need an uh, we're need we going to get an achievement for completing it on Nightmare Mode as well. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So, uh, what we can do, we are going to type in ID clip as well. So again, as usual, put in your IDDQ, uh, IDD, <gasps> QD, IDKFA, and then we're going to go ID clip. So basically, once you've put ID clip in, go forward, and then ever so slightly to the right, and then sort of slightly left again as you sort of walk forward. Now, once you've noticed this room here, which is kind of looks like mechanical bits, Walk forward, walk forward again until you're into this room, and the exit is right here. So you can just go straight through the door, click the button, and it is there on the map. So if you want to have a little look, press the Y button to get your map open, and then that is how you will finish Toxic Refinery and get the alternate dimension for finding a secret level, and also for finishing a level on Nightmare as well. So again, for the majority of these levels, we're going to be doing the God Mode, the Full Inventory, and the No Clip. Uh, but once you do have those, that's already 13 out of the 33 achievements, so that is f -f -f flying And I need to take a break, 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 take a break, break, break my lungs on fire! Okay, so let's go to Episode 2, The Shores of Hell, and you can leave it on um, Demos Anomaly. Uh, you put it on Nightmare if you want. It doesn't make a difference because we're going to put God Mode on, of course. Um, so, again, do your normals. The IDDQD, IDKFA, and... Um, uh, well, you don't have to do the ID clip. What we're going to do is uh, make sure to save it as well. Always make sure to save it so you can just reload it straight away if you need to. But get the plasma gun and quickly shoot all these five guys here on the right-hand side. You should get um, five kills in five seconds very easily with the plasma gun. So once you are plasmaed out, load the game that you just saved or go back into the same mission. Because we're going to kill the next, the, the same set of guys, this time with the rocket launcher. So the rocket launcher should be the uh, fourth one in, I believe. Just again, make sure to uh, press the trigger if you uh, need to know. Otherwise, make sure that you've killed at least three guys with the rocket launcher and you can get the achievement unlocked there. Uh, again, if you need it, there's another couple of guys. Or if you need to, just keep on, keep on rocking on, bruh. And keep on reloading if needed. Okay, next up, we're going to be going for the overprepared achievement, which is for finishing a level with 200% armor and 200% health. So again, sticking with uh, the first Doom, we're going to go to... Episode 2, Mission 8, which is Tower of Babel. Again, difficulty really doesn't matter in all fairness. And again, we're going to be putting in all our cheat bags. Uh, and again, there's obviously going to be a bunch of whole people who are going to be so unhappy with this. But come on, bruh. Life, life is one giant ass kicker at the minute. We don't have much time to uh, be playing straight through it. So... Head up, make sure to grab the blue sphere. This is very important to get both your health and armor on 200%. And now, all you gotta do is go ahead and find the Cyber Demon, who won't actually be walking around here. He will be in, if you keep walking around the map, he's gonna be in one of the other pockets, one of the other doorways. Um, and again, like I said, in order to get the um, one kill of each type of enemy, make sure to kill Everything new that you do come across, so you should have plenty uh, of these fiery skull bros. But it should be in the next one anyway, so just go ahead, wherever you find him. There he is, just kill him dead, and you will get the overprepared achievement.
And that's the end of that chapter. If my name isn't Homer Simpson. Right, so let us, uh, well, I think we're done with Doom for now. So now what we can do, we are going to crack on and we're going to change the game. Um, so now we are going to be doing some free roaming on the map, which as you can see at the top there is IDDT. So go to Doom 2, we are going to go level select, and in fact, what are we going to do first? No, sorry, we're going to do that in just a minute. We're going to go to map 23, which is Barrels of Fun. And again, there's a couple of new enemies on here. And <laughs> again, you'll have to be quite quick in terms of uh, typing in the IDDQD. And you've, uh, at least that, and then pop your full inventory in. Uh, but don't worry about the no clip for now. That's fine. So what we're going to do, we can make a start. We need to get 100 uh, kills with the chainsaw. And if you just come to this level right here, you should more or less automatically unlock the timing is everything achievement for killing two enemies with a single barrel explosion, as long as you uh, hit one of the barrels there. Um, now, what should, or who should appear in this room is like, uh, I think they're this shotgun guys. They look like they've got uh, ropes hanging off them. Make sure to kill this thing as well. It's like it's like a caco demon, but he's more brown town, but he does count as a separate enemy as well. Um, so there's uh, just a whole bunch of these guys. Uh, obviously, we've killed these uh, lost souls, which is the flaming guys. As long as we killed one of the old brown turds, um, obviously that would count towards the enemies killing uh, one of each enemy. Then we can just head to the end, click the lever, and we can then just go ahead and drop down. Now, again, I'm only sticking with this level just for a minute uh, in order to uh, kill one of those guys with the hangy downy chains, which is basically like a minigun type thing. So, uh, there we go. So, once we... There they are, look. So, they should get there eventually. They should uh, come around eventually. So, when they do, make sure that you kill at least one or, you know, two or three of these just to be safe. And then you have you should have pretty much killed everything on this level in terms of uh, one of every type level of enemy. Right, so once that's done and we've got that one, we're now going to go for... Oh, we're going to go for skeet shooting, actually. Skeet shooting. So we're going to go to master levels for Doom 2 this time. So change the game. Master levels for Doom 2. I tried on so many specific levels and it just was not working. But master levels for Doom 2, we're going to go to level 10, which is the Black Tower. Nightmare literally doesn't matter at all. But we're going to start the game. Now, again, at the very start, make sure to put in, obviously, your codes for God Mode, for full inventory, and make sure to save it as well, just in case it doesn't work, and you can just go ahead and quickly reload it. But if we head to the left, there's a couple of guys here which you can kill. Plus, this is one of the Revenants. So, again, make sure to kill this for... Uh, make sure to kill the revenant enemy there, the skull, the skeleton bro with all oh, crap hanging off him. Uh, just uh, for one of the enemy counts. Then head through the door. Then through the door on the left, and there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies, uh, human enemies on the left. So make sure to get your super shotgun out and just shoot them dead. Once you have, um, then obviously the skeet shooting achievement will come up. If it didn't work, again, it has to be with a super shotgun. Sorry, I should have mentioned that, but it should have been with a super shotgun. That's what. Uh, that's how you get the achievement out. Again, if it doesn't work for whatever particular reason, it didn't work for me. Uh, only once it didn't work for me. Uh, but you can obviously just go ahead and reload. Uh, but that is the easiest place that I found that we could do that. Again, I tried on so many levels, but either the human guys kept killing each other or... You know, I just could not do it for the life of me. But that is definitely the easiest place that I found that we can do that. So, get it good. Get it going. Lick this thing and like you should. My neck. My doom. Lick my ween until it goes boom. Wait, scratch that last remark. Okay, so back to Doom 2. Now we're going to be going for the untouchable achievement. Now this is where we're going for road... Ma uh, roam the free map so we can just stick with new game you have to still get them under par and you have to put it on ultra violence difficulty again so make sure that it is on ultra violence so what we're going to do we are just going to go again i always make a save just in case but we are going to go here uh, make sure to put your god mode on then press y to go into your map then press i d d t 
and then you can just simply follow, go slightly to the right and up a little bit, and then press the A button. And then that should um, get you the finished map. So we're going to be doing this for the entirety of these. Again, as long as you've got it under 30 seconds there, that means you're onto a winner. And again, you have to do eight of these consecutive levels in a row. So again, same thing. Press the Y button to go into your map. Eventually. Uh, just after we put God Mode on again, just in case. Uh, it should always be on anyway. But once you are on this mode, we're going to head down, as you can see on the map. So don't worry about that. We're just going to go down. And right, it's right here it is, somewhere. There it is. So right in this little area. It is there, but for some reason, there it is. So it was literally just slightly down some. Um, but again, you do get... Uh, a little bit more time in these next set of levels, which is all good. Uh, but yeah, so just doing it this way is a lot easier than, you know, trying to clip through walls and then easily getting lost. Um, it's just a hell of a lot easier. And in fact, this was actually Sasha Morning's idea. So big shout out to Sasha Morning there. But for map three, we're going to basically head all the way down to the bottom of the map. And that is where the uh, exit is. Um, so yeah, big shout out there to Sasha Morning for... Uh, basically coming up with this idea and apparently it works a treat unless you don't have a keyboard then you have to do it tidy which uh, i'm sorry i'm so sorry but you can get yourself a cheap crappy keyboard anyway on to level four we're going to go to the left of this map so basically down a little bit and then left and then press the a button and you will be able to finish this oh, that's level on the map five the old wasty tasty tunnels so from the map we're going to head down down, 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 until we get here. Down, 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 down. Look at my Charlie Brown town. Right, on to the next one. We are going to go down ever so slightly from our starting position. Literally down ever so slightly. It's like two rooms over or something, or two rooms down. And that one is done. Uh, for the next one, we don't actually have to use the map. What we're going to do is literally run straight forward, interact with the eyeball, and then it's job done. Pass these guys, interact with the <laughs> eyeball or whatever it is straight in front of us. And uh, that one is very easy. Look at that, 100% secrets in less than two seconds. It's like a Formula One pit stop. That's how good we are. And for this next and final one, we are going to go... Uh, slightly to the left and up. Again, very slightly. It's literally left and up. And that's all you got to do. And then once that is done, the untouchable achievement will unlock. Again, because you had to complete eight different levels. Basically in a row on ultraviolet or higher. So very much easy. Okay, so now we are going to go to level select. We're going to get the 100 chainsaw kills. So we can go on to under halls. I normally put it on ultra violence or nightmare. Uh, and you can, if you go into the difficult modifiers, pop in the monsters respawn. But I only put it on the higher difficulty to get more enemies to spawn. So uh, again, make sure you put your god mode on, your full inventory on as well. You don't really need your um, no clip though. Uh, so make sure to save the game, of course, just to make it easier. So what we're going to do, we're going to kill the seven guys that we can kill here. Providing they don't bloody kill each other. So kill the first three. Go through here. Take a left. Kill these two guys. Hit the switch. There's another guy to kill here. And if we open up here, um, there is that guy. If you... Now, again, sometimes they may respawn. If they do respawn, then that's good. That's another kill to your selection. But if you... Uh, with the last guy that we just killed, you can hit the switch, as I will show you. And on the outside, where we are right now, um, the wall will lower and there's going to be a whole bunch more enemies. Making this even quicker to complete. So I'll show you that now. So hit the switch. Kill these guys over and over again. Hit that switch. Now we can head down. And there's going to be three guys here to uh, make it up to ten. There's a whole bunch of guys further on. And in this room, there's another five but one of them will normally die, so you can get four. But basically, you can get 20 kills if you want. Um, very easily, you can go ahead and get 20 kills, then reload the game, get another 20 kills. Um, but it's just a lot quicker and easier, I found, to do that. 
Okay, so that was number 20. So next, oh, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we haven't done yet. Um, we're going to go to map 32, and there's going to be one specific enemy that we're going for. That's exactly what I'm going for right now. Um, oh, in fact, no, sorry. No, it's not this one. We're going for the shoot it until it dies achievement. So again, as usual, god mode on, full inventory on. Um, make sure to kill at least one of these uh, little blue officer Nazi bras. Uh, which you should do if you just shoot in any given direction. One of them should die. There we go. Now, uh, the easiest way in order to kill this cyber demon with a pistol is uh, shoot him with, a, uh, with the plasma or with whatever weapon. Save scum it, so save it. Get a whole bunch of bullets into him again. Save it again. And then just keep repeating this until he dies. And then once he dies, you can reload that last save. And then just keep shooting the pistol at him. And that is how we can get this one nice and easy and quickly as well. Yeah, boy, have that, son. Have that in your old leg, my boy. Okay, so once we have killed a cyber demon, sorry, I couldn't remember the word for it then, a cyber demon, we're going to end game. We're going to go to level select, and we are going to go to uh, map seven, yeah. Now, this, I'm only doing this specifically for the achievement for killing um, 25. Five. Oh, in fact, no, we're going for containment area. Sorry. So ignore me. Sorry. So we're going to go monsters respawn as well. But uh, earlier on, remember the very first uh, the very first level that we did? And I told you to make sure to kill at least 25 enemies with your fist in, uh, in a single level. Well, very stupidly, I didn't get it. So that's why I ha I've just had to do this extra level in order to get that. Uh, but there are more than tw way more than 25 enemies in this particular level. So if you want... If you want this, um, don't worry. Uh, if or you can obviously follow along, that's fine. Uh, but if you already have the achievement there um, for guns or for wusses for killing 25 enemies with your fist, you can just go ahead and skip to 29 minutes and 40. Uh, if you've already got this achievement, where we're going to start getting the ending achievements going. Okay, so we're going to have a little look. If you have a look at the achievements, you can see how many uh, killing one of every enemy you should be on. If you've been following along or you've been doing a little bit more, you should be on roughly around 13 out of 23. Hopefully you're on that or even uh, one or two more. So we're going to go to level select. We're going to go to thy flesh consumed. Uh, but actually what we're going to be putting in... Uh, let's have a look. When we get the... We're going to be take. Uh, we're going to be doing an extra little bit of typo, right here. Um, so when we start, we're going to type in I D C L E V forty eight. So I D Clev forty eight, and that'll take us to the very last level. 
Um, now is when you're supposed to do the whole um, no clip God mode stuff. Because I just <laughs> I done it first instead of after, which is just stupid. So quickly do the God mode and do the full inventory and do the no clip as well. And then once you've done that, then we can just head straight through the door. And effectively, you can just keep going straight, basically, until we see the uh, head of John Romero. But again, you could just see these uh, slightly invisible enemies. If you think you haven't killed one yet, make sure to kill at least one of these. Um, again, you can just... Because you've got the ID clip on... Oh, the no clip, sorry. You could have just gone straight ahead. But in order to get the bridge to be raised, go ahead and interact with that skull there. Head around the other side. And do the same, kill the old, uh, was that the Hell's Baron, I think that one is, or did something, they all look, they all look the same. And then what you can do then is just wait for the bridge to go up, that's if you, uh, don't have the clip on. Uh, but if you did have the clip on, you could have just gone straight forward and then job done. But go straight through, and again, just continue to go straight through, um, kill the big spider demon thing. This actually counts as a unique boss. Um, so that's good because you would have needed to have killed it anyway. So once this one is dead, doo -doo 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 -doo, eventually it will die a painful death. There it is. So that should count. And again, just make sure that you've killed at least one uh, each of these enemies of the old caco demons, the old flying ball sacks, and um, the other hell baron type things, whatever they are. Once that's done, head to the pole, type no clip in again in order to unclip yourself, go through the portal, and that will end the level and get the Doom achievement. Again, that's for reaching the end of Doom. So the next one we're going to do then is Doom 2. So again, once we get out of it, um, change the game, end the game, change the game, go to Doom 2. Right, okay, so what we'll do now, once we're on to Doom 2, level select, we're going to go to map 30, which is Icon of Sin. And then again, doesn't matter the difficulty, but of course, pop in your god mode, pop in your full inventory if you want, but make sure to pop in uh, ID clip as well. And then once that's done, you can effectively just go straight forward. There's a revenant that will chuck some fiery balls at you. So try and avoid it. Ah, god damn you. Step! Step! Doucheberg! Anyway, we can just continue on forward. We're gonna head up straight through the next door. Uh, again, you should have already killed a revenant, one of these skeleton mega things, but kill it just again, just in case. Head forward, kill the head of John Romero, and that is Doom 2's ending done. Oh, yeah, that was nice and quick, wasn't it? So, again, we're gonna end the game, and then we will. Oh, in fact. We're going to be doing a little something, something first. Um, so after this one, we are going to... Now, if you want to have a look at all the enemies here, just so you know which ones that you should have uh, should have killed. An imp we don't have yet. So there you go then, they are the enemies that we should be killing, um, all the ones before Legacy of Rust anyway. So on to Master Levels for Doom 2, so we'll, obviously we'll go to single player, level select, I'm going to go to level 20 which is Mephisto's Mausoleum, huh? Mephisto Mausoleum. 
Okay, once this one's done, again, quickly put on your god mode, your full inventory, and your no clip. Because there are a bunch of revenants which will shoot their fiery bomb nuts at you. Um, again, just make sure to kill one, you know, just in case. It's always worth doing. But once we've done with this, we're going to head straight for the building in front of us and go inside. Get inside. Baron of Hell again. And we can kill one of these Arachnatrons for the first time. Um, we will be seeing them in a little, a little bit anyway, so don't worry if he's not there. But that spider, the sort of mini spider should be. So, what you can see now is these big skulls, which are basically uh, the, the four giant skulls of Baphomet. Now, there is one particular one which has the head of John Romero in it. Uh, make sure to kill Chunky Monkey here as well. Uh, that's another one if you haven't got him yet. Um, now, it could... Where we walked in, I'm sure, I think it was to the right. Uh, uh, or apparently, it's always the last one you're looking. Um, but either way, go through each one until we find uh, one of those big chunky monkeys and then behind him should be a glowing room with the head of John Romero in it. So next up, we are going to end the game, and then we, <clears throat> excuse me, we are going to change the game. And we're going to go to Evolution. So go to Evolution. And again, it's just as easy as the rest of them, so that is our good. Um, so what we're going to do, we are going to go to level 30 eventually. We're going to go to level 30. And, yeah, 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 yeah. So, we, yeah, level 30, go to Last Call. Again, the old diffle of culty does not matter because we're going to be doing god mode and uh, ID clip and ID KFA, you know, for all the stuff anyway. Now, there is a mega whole way that you can do this, but what we're going to do instead uh, is not do the way that we're supposed to. We're going to go and type in IDDT in order to get the roaming free map going. So press Y there, IDDT, and then what we're going to do, we're going to head all the way to the right-hand side. It's just get, it, Honestly, it's just the easiest way to finish this if you are cheating. Otherwise, there's a whole lot of torches and stuff that you need to go through. But basically, head all the way to the right until you get to this bit, little bit on its own. Um, this is the area where we will find the head, once again, of John Rehedo. Shoot him down, and that's the end of evolution. Next up then, it is time for the Plutonia experiment. Again, uh, single player, level select. This time we're going to go for level 30. The gateway of hell. Rock on. Once again, we will start the game. Right, so what we're going to do, you can see this big giant angry orb thing in front of us. Uh, what we're going to do again, pop in your god mode and no clip. Stand on this box, turn to the left where you can see four ammo boxes in a row. And we're going to simply basically head straight until, once again, we see the head of John Romero. So just continue heading on straight. Yep, keep going straight and you can see that giant blasph blas blas blasphemous head, whatever the hell that is again. Or baphomet. Yeah, blasphemous. Baphomet. So uh, once down here, just go straight through. This is where the old head of John Romero is and that's another one. Done and dusted. So after this, we will uh, change the game and we're going to go 
to... What did we just do? Plutonia. So now we're going to go for the No Rest for the Living. Also, if you check there the achievements, you should be on. You should be on at least six, 15, but hopefully 16 out of 23. Uh, because the rest, of course, that we're going to be getting are going to be in uh, the last one. The new one they've done. What is it? Uh, Legacy of Rust. Anyway, let us head here then um, onto the No Rest for the Living. We're going to level... Uh, level 8, the Tomb of Malevolence. So that's what we're doing, Tomb of Malevolence. Again, it doesn't matter what it is because there's no um, enemies to, to speak of in this one. So what you need to do then, you need to type in, uh, Poppy Gold Martin as well, type in no clip. Now this platform you normally think is too high to get onto, which it is. Uh, so you need to stand sort of as far left as you can on this platform. Then type in the no clip again, um, the ID clip. But when you uh, when you hit D, it makes you go. <laughs> when you hit the D, it makes you go to the right slightly. Uh, so that's why you need to stand as far left as you can, and then hit the ID clip, and then that'll be the end of this one. Uh. Uh. Yeah, that wasn't a pain in the butt hole or anything, was it? So, on to Sigil. We're going to go to E5M8, the Halls of Perdition. And we can start the game. Yeah, sorry. That's uh, that's what we're doing. So, make sure it is Halls of Perdition. And again, we're going to go for God Mode. So, ID, D, Q, D, and ID, Clip, in order to no clip. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go straight into the skull wall in front of us. Don't go through the bars, though. There's a couple of enemies that will appear. Unless you put it on zero difficulty, then no one will appear. Um, head to the left. Don't go through the bars again. Just head left. Now, at the end of the bars over here, right on the floor, right uh, below the screen, you're going to see some blue flames. If you have a look through the bars, you can probably just see the blue flames in the distance below you. Head down. Head through those blue flames. And you can see the Eye of Sigil, so turn off the no clip again. So again, type in ID clip, and then just keep interacting with the eyeball in order to finish this one. And now we are on to the big boy, the headhunting legacy of Rust, the new episode with new enemies, uh, bloody scarier enemies as well, in all fairness. <coughs> First thing is first, what we're going to do, we're going to head back to the Plutonia experiment. Now, uh, the reason we're just going to quickly do this before we crack on with the Legacy of Rust is because level 32 on the Plutonia experiment has basically a whole, <laughs> level 32 as well, as I said, it has a whole bunch of enemies. So if there are, if there is one particular one that you're missing, I think it's apart from like the humans, the, sh the shotgunners and stuff. Um, but this level has a whole bunch of mega enemies, uh, mega monsters that, uh, so that's, you know, the Baron's Hell and the, the big fat monkey buses, whatever they're called. And they do go a bit nuts on you here. Uh, but there is one that we haven't gone through yet, and that is called the Arch Vial. Now he is, or it is, I should say. It's basically sort of shoots fire in your direction and sort of transports from here, there and everywhere. Um, if you go to level 11, there are plenty in that level, um, arch files, which you can grab. 
um, if you need a archvile kill. But I went specifically for this one because, um, yeah, just in case that there was any more monsters that you might particularly need. Again, if there's not, that's fine. Really doesn't matter. Um, but this is one of the levels where you do have a lot of uh, different monsters in it, which would be specific for the achievement. So in this room right here then, again, we did no clips. So once we get to this room, the arch file is there. That thing right at the top, which sort of looks like it's going to do a stars in your eyes type song or something. I don't know where the hell that is. Uh, but there is the arch file anyway. So we've killed him. So that, if you have a look on your achievements now, that should um, go up to, I believe, uh, 17. Yep, 17. So there we go. So that's because we killed the arch file. Again, if it doesn't appear there for you, go to level 11 on the Plutonia experiment, um, which is called Hunted. And there's pretty much a whole bunch that are in a cage, which you can kill straight away. Uh, but again, once that is done, we can now carry on with the old legacy of Rastos. But there are two specific achievements which we are going to get with uh, this... Uh, well, that's not DLC, is it? It's just a new episode. So we're going to go to E2M5 first. Uh, because we are going to get one of the extra, um, uh, boo -boo -boo, one of the new monsters in here. Now, there's only a specific way to do this. So put on your god mode um, and your full inventory, but do not put no clip on. Do not, um, no, do not no clip it. So what you're going to do when you come down into this room, right behind this skull door here is, um, is a switch. So you interact with that and you can hear the scream of the banshees. Kill these weird, most disgustedest looking things ever, and that is what will count. A lot of people had trouble with this one, trying to find this one, because they kept no clipping through this level, trying to find it, and it didn't work. The only way that you can do it is to hit this, hit the um, switch in that room, and then they will appear. Uh, that's pretty much the only way they appear as well. Um, but we did get uh, another one out of this level as well. Uh, if you didn't get another enemy out of this level, that's fine. You will definitely get them um, in the next couple that we got to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so once that one is done, uh, I just wanted to get the Banshee one out of the way there. Um, again, that is just in case. Because, uh, again, a lot of people struggle with that, including myself. But then we can go to E1, M6, the Coiled City. Monsters respawn. And we are going to go ahead and get the... Uh, uh, for immolating a total of 30 arachnoid enemies with the incinerator. So, of course, we're going to put on god mode, and then, of course, we're going to put full inventory on. Uh, you don't have to put... There's no point putting no clip on, so I wouldn't even bother with this one, but we're going to head down, around, and hit the switch. Head down the staircase. And again, when we get to the arachnoids, then we're going to make the save so you can just kill them, like we've done with the chainsaws earlier. Kill them. Reload, kill him, reload, and keep going until you hit 30. Hit the big massive skull. That will um, open up this secret walkway. And then eventually we will get somewhere. There we go. Right, so once we get up to the top of the stairs, we're going to start making a save now. So go ahead, make a save. Uh, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, there's a whole bunch of this incinerator ammo about. So just go ahead and keep killing all the arachnoids. If any of them do respawn, of course, go and get some more ammo and go and kill them. Um, but then you can just go ahead and keep reloading the save until you get your 30 kills.
and that's a ding a ling a ding a dong. Again, let's just go down and have a look at our achievements and see how many we've got. That should be 20. That should be 20. Now, I do believe the arachnoid that we killed in... Uh, which one was it? Doom 2 or one of the other ones? And the arachnoids in the Legacy of Rust. I think they are different. I think. I can't be sure, but I think they are different. That's why we got uh, 20 there. Right, so the last sort of miscellaneous achievement, if you will... We need to go to uh, episode 2, mission 6, which is the soul silo. And we're going to do a little bit of IDDTing again to get onto the Rome map. So on the map we go, uh, put in IDDT. Do not put in the full inventory though. So all we're doing is doing God mode and the roaming the map. Do not put in your full inventory because there have been a lot of people that said uh, basically you have to kill uh, 50 enemies in a single shot with the Calamity Blade. But there's a lot of people that said with the full inventory cheat, it doesn't work. So what we need to do then, we pop in the Rome map. We head all the way over to the left, which, uh, yeah, is... No, I mean all the way over to the left. Not down! Not down, douche nozzle! Up! Timmy, do I have to beat your brains? Come on! Okay, this is a little bit slower than I anticipated. So, basically, where you can find the Calamity Blade is not this one, but the one square above it. That is where we're going to find it. I will show you exactly where it is now. So where we are now, if you go up just once, that is where you're going to find the Calamity Blade. Uh, but I'm deciding to be slightly silly with it. Um, yeah. So it's always worth just making a save now. So, yeah. So, like I said, when you get into this area, we're going to make a save. Again, just in case it doesn't work. So, from where we were... Um, in fact, I'll just show you on the map because it's going to be easier. So, if we have a look on the map now, you can see where we are. Literally, we are like on the um, penultimate row at the very bottom. Uh, right in the middle. So if you just free roam your map there, go there, head to the left, pick up the Calamity Blade, go left, hold the weapon to charge it up by pressing the right trigger, and then that should kill 50 enemies. And then, of course, if it doesn't, go ahead and reload the save, grab your Calamity Blade, and then do it again. But you should uh, be able to get that first time. Um, so yeah, so I did show you where it was on the map. That should now be 21 out of 23, by the way. So the last two we're going to get in the very last level. So let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's end this game. New game, level select. Sorry, uh, I was just <laughs> making sure I was having the right thing then. So we're going to go to uh, E2M7, which is Brink. Again, difficulty doesn't matter, but we are this time going to be putting God Mode on, full inventory on, and the no clip on. Okay, so uh, you can see the green walls uh, right in front of us, so we're going to head straight through there. And again, there's two specific enemies that we're going to grab and kill. So go straight forward, head over the bridge, through the door, and again, through the door again. Now, make sure that you go down and destroy the Cyber Demon in here. You have to do that in order to get the next and penultimate enemy to appear. Otherwise, it doesn't appear because this is kind of like an arena, one of those elevator arenas. So once this begins, this is where the... Uh, I think this is the Tyrant. I think it's called the Tyrant. Kind of looks like a Cyber Demon, but it's got his uh, body ripped in half there. So make sure to kill one of these guys at the very least. And again, just have a double check. That should now be 22 out of 23. And before we go ahead and finish the level, we are going to find the final enemy. So we're going to go straight through. So we sort of left and straight through. Uh, straight through again. Now, what we are looking for, basically, there's a room full of um, arch vials, which makes it kind of difficult to try and get through. Um, but the... The place that we're looking for kind of looks like a maze with... Uh, it kind of looks like a blue maze. So it's all maze. So this is the Archvale room, which you don't want to be in in a normal circumstance. 
the room that we're looking for oh sorry this sort of out it's it's an outside looking thing looks like a maze with all like blue posts and everything around and that is where you will find the final enemy um unfortunately for me there i did just get a bit um kicked out and i do apologize it is slightly a little bit confusing i, I do apologize um but this is it this is the place that we're looking for then so kind of looks like a maze all with you basically need a blue key card to get in here this is what we're looking for then this creepy ass looking demon bro but once you do get here and again i do apologize for the last confusion about that bit then but one, once we get here that should then be your 23rd out of 23rd enemy and that should get you the uh, uh, achievement for killing all uh, one type of every enemy so now what we're going to do is finish up the game so we are going to go past <laughs> while everyone shoots each other past the exploding barrels past uh, straight through to the door again we're literally more or less now just going in a straight line so straight through the arch vials thank god straight through into the next room and then if we go to the right up the stairs interact with the switch and that is done and that is the whole of doom one and doom two and the rest of them complete done sayonara job done goodbye uh so if you have a look you should now be on 33 out of 33 achievements so thank you so so much for watching guys and gals i really hope you enjoyed the game Bethesda can keep doing this if they want with some separate achievement lists. God, the banshee noise is freaky. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the guide. If it did help, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out as always to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Thank you so, so much. Again, make sure to ch uh, check out my true new true crime gaming podcast called Gaming's Darker Side. You can find it on YouTube or any of your uh, podcast playlists, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And I will see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big love.